All right, so you've been thinking about moving to Florida because you wanna purchase a new construction home that's in an amazing master plan community with fun events for the whole family and amenities galore. And you want a home that's located in a good school zone, is close to the beaches, and has airports close by, making it easy for you to travel with you and your family. Well, in today's video, we're bringing you Lakewood Ranch, the number one selling multi-generational master plan community in Florida for the last five years. This place has so much to offer you. We're so excited to show you what's going on here in Lakewood Ranch. So if you've been thinking about moving to Florida, then stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Francesca Hanahoe. And I'm Richard Hanahoe. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on the notification bell while you're there so you get notified every time we upload a new video just like this one showing you all of Sarasota County where to live, eat, sleep, work, play, everything. Yeah, ever since we've been doing these videos, we've been getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you wanting to relocate to the Sarasota County area, and we absolutely love it. We absolutely do, so make sure you give us that call, shoot us that text, or send us an email, whichever one you prefer, days, nights, or weekends, because we have your back when you are moving here. Okay, so today we are standing at Waterside Place, the newest town center in Lakewood Ranch, and we're gonna be covering Lake House Cove in Waterside because we've decided it's basically our favorite village here in Lakewood Ranch. And Richard, why is it your Definitely favorite village? Definitely our favorite village in Lakewood yeah. Ranch right now. Um, this, the Waterside Place, is surrounded by seven lakes and there's 20 acres of shoreline. Yes. So as you live around this community here, you'll have 20 acres of shoreline. So if you got the kayak, you can launch your kayak out there. If you got your paddle boards, you can get out there, have some fun with the kids, have fun with the family. Yeah. It's just a great place to be. Absolutely. And if you live at Lake House Cove, it is within walking distance to this waterside place where we're standing right here. So that's a, a really good uh, feature to have here. And also one of my favorite things is that there's a, gonna be a water taxi eventually. It's not here yet, but it's coming. So there's gonna be a water taxi. You can walk from your community to the um, where the, wa the taxis are gonna be taking off and they're gonna be coming over here. So say you had a long day of work, you wanna go enjoy some food, have some dinner, have a couple margaritas, and not worry about driving home, no worries, you are covered here. I think that is so cool. Yeah, also um, with Waterside yeah. Place here, the walkability to your house from here, if you don't wanna take that water taxi or, or your yeah. golf cart or drive, um, the walkability is great. There's all kinds of paths that you can walk on through these communities here um, yeah. that surround the lakes. Absolutely, and this one we're walking on, I don't know if you can see, but we've got parks for the kids right here behind us. And over here, there's some volleyball courts and some dog parks. Just a really cool place, so much going on. And uh, on Wednesday nights, what they have, they have a lot of events here at Waterside. So on Wednesday night, they have- We like Wednesday night. Yes, we like Wednesday nights. We've been a couple of times now. And they have ranch night. And so basically there's a bunch of food trucks. There's even a beer truck. So if you like beer, you gotta come and check that out. It was a first for me. And uh, they have the largest this cornhole league of, I don't know, of all the leagues, if it's just Florida, I'm not sure, but it's like the largest cornhole league. It's, it's a pretty, it's pretty big cool. deal. So you definitely have to come check that out. But also on Sunday, they have a farmer's market from 10 to two every Sunday where they have over 90 vendors. That's a lot. So it's definitely worth checking out. Um, there's something going on here. It seems like just all the time. So definitely a cool spot to be able to walk to from your house. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're at your house and you're looking for for something to do on a Saturday or a Sunday. Yeah. And you really don't want to drive anywhere. Like I said, you could just walk right over here or eventually you can take the water taxi. You could really spend the day here. They also have a ton of commercial here with restaurants and all kinds of stuff. Richard, what, what kind of stuff do they have going on here? Yeah, so they have a lot of office space here too, number one. So yeah. if, you're, if you're looking for an office space, they have uh, spaces anywhere from 1,500 square feet up to over 3,000 square feet. So 
If you live in the area and you want to get out of the house and need an office, it's here for you. Talk about walkability and loving where you live. You can yeah. literally have an office here and live at Lake, Lake House Cove and be right down the street. All right, Richard, but besides the commercial space, let's talk about the restaurants that they have here because they got some pretty amazing restaurants. Well, right off the bat, they have a brewing company, so I like that. So you got to check out the brewing company here. For sure. Uh, they have a distillery as well, so you can check that out. Um, obviously, there's a lot of food here. Um, one one heavy hitter for me would yeah. be the, the core steakhouse. Absolutely. Definitely got to try that out. Yep. Um, if you're looking to uh, get pampered a little bit, there's a barber shop for us men. And for you women, there's all kinds of salons, uh, yes. obviously. They got a coffee shop here, which is awesome. Yeah, um, I know they lake. have Pilates and they have some gyms. Absolutely. They got a fitness center. So just a little bit for everybody. They've got restaurants, salons, they've got gyms. Yeah, so also, you know, the Lakewood Ranch Medical Group is also in here as well. Yep. And uh, it even goes a little bit further if you're, you know, MI Homes has their design center here. So there's a lot going on here at the Waterside Place. Absolutely. All right, I just have to turn this camera and show you guys these dogs that are walking up right now that are so beautiful. <laughs> but all right, well, let's go take a look at some of the beautiful houses that Lake House Cove has to offer. Lake House Cove at Waterside and you know there's a oops definitely should you do need that. your seatbelt for Chelsea <laughs> okay so we're driving around um, where Homes by Town is located there's a couple of builders over here we've got Homes by Town we've got Pulte who's developing Shoreview or building on Shoreview also we have some custom home builders like a um, Arthur Ruttenberg who we're very familiar with and have worked with in the past beautiful homes um, and floor plans. Also, Lee Weatherington. Really, that's another reason why we love Lake House Cove is because of the uh, the homes and the type of homes that you can purchase here. You know, these semi-custom home builders are absolutely phenomenal. And Homes by Town, which is where we are right now driving around, I really like, you know, this style of their homes. I love the outside, the architectural design on the outside. You can just tell these homes are made with a lot of quality. And yeah, the quality here is pretty superb. Um, the homes by Towns, they're doing a great job. There's some things they're doing that are separating themselves from, from other builders in Waterside and all around uh, Lakewood Ranch. One big thing is uh, when they're doing a roof here, uh, they're not using OSB. They're using actual plywood, which gives you a better roof, better finish, um, longer lasting roof, if you will. Another thing they're doing with their foundations out here is they're doing stem wall construction uh, versus your typical mono slab. Um, but the elevations out here are, are absolutely stunning. Yeah. I love these elevations here and what, the, what, what they're doing. Um, and Ooh. I'll tell you one thing about homes by town. They are, they're not slacking on their landscaping. Um, when you build a home with them, they're, they're putting some money in your landscaping so that you don't have to do it after you purchase the home, which is, which is great. That's nice. That's definitely a nice detail that the builder is putting in that you don't typically see in communities like this. I just, I love uh, that they're not so cookie cutter looking. I love that the fact that a lot of the garages are to the side. We have a lot of clients that call us and say, hey, look, I really want to buy a home, but I don't want to buy a home that has the garage right smack in the front. And so in the past, we've had a lot of clients that wanted that garage that was kind of off to the side. And it was really hard to find, you know, a home that fit that profile, but Homes by Town has it and it's really, it's a beautiful home. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're coming up on the clubhouse area over here, but just to continue on, you know, out here with Homes by Town, um, oh, we got some trucks here. Um, <laughs> a little bit of traffic. We're gonna get stuck here. We're heading into the area where they have a lot of new construction going on right now. So currently they have several homes under construction. We know how many exactly? 
Francesca? I don't have a, a number of how many are under construction, but they are working on another phase here in Lake House Cove. So they have some home sites that are available. They have homes that are already under construction that if you are looking to have a quicker closing, you could possibly pick up one of the homes that's already under construction with all the options picked out for you. Yeah, so you can see some of their new construction here. Um, just just a little bit more about uh, homes like that. We have a developer out here on this particular phase of the water side. Uh, so they're doing all the horizontal construction out here and then they're also selling lots off to other builders like we mentioned, Pulte. Um, and there's some other builders coming out here as well in the future. We'll keep you up to date on that as well. Um, as you can tell, or I don't know if you can, but hopefully you can, uh, most of these home sites are on water, which is one of the reasons that we absolutely love this village and this community. So if you're somebody like me who loves to have water views, this is definitely an area where you should come check it out. And as far as those amenities, since Richard brought up that we were driving by the amenities, there's tons of amenities. There's resort style pool with cabanas. There's, of course, there's um, a fitness center, dog park, bocce ball. There's all kinds of stuff. They so, have a kayak launch. Yes, so a kayak if you want launch. To jump on that kayak launch. I'm not too sure if you can make it all the way over to Waterside Place, but I'm gonna look into that for you. All right. Well, let me go ahead and turn this camera around and show you what these homes look like. All right. So. When you build with Homes by Town, there is three series of houses that they build. These houses right here that are on the lake that you're looking at are their catamaran series. They're 65 foot home sites. They start at 750,000 and go up over a million depending on your options. They are 23, 75 square feet all the way up to around 3,500 square feet. Now, obviously, if you don't want that large of a home, they also have the Clipper series, which is on their 52-foot home sites, and they start at 599,000 and go up to around 709,000. They're somewhere around 1,800 square feet up to 2,500 square feet. They also have a casting series, which is their more affordable line, and they have a wait list for those. So what they do is they draw a lottery to see who will be the next um, buyer. So if you're interested in getting on the wait list for the smaller homes, you can definitely reach out to us and we'll, we'll get you on that list. Also, the landscaping is included in in this community and the HOA runs around 310 to 319 a month so really affordable HOA in here they do have a stewardship fee or it's a stewardship district they like to call it which is really the CDD and it's about $2,200 a year okay and another thing about homes by town that I forgot to mention when we were talking about all the features that we love about these homes is not just the outside but actually the inside when you walk in the ceilings are super high. How high would you say those ceilings are, Richard? A 20 plus. And those are included in their design options. So they actually just have a lot of things included in their options that make the home really beautiful. I love high ceilings and windows. That's like my favorite features of homes. And we're, and we're talking about one story homes here too. So <laughs> yeah. that's pretty awesome. It really opens up the home and just makes a, a big difference in your home. Also, hurricane-proof windows, which usually a builder would charge you extra for with your design options, they are actually included with Homes by Town. And let me tell you, not having to put up hurricane shutters when hurricanes come is a really big deal. It's definitely worth the extra money. The hurricane shutters are a real pain in the butt, uh, which Richard and I found out firsthand <laughs> recently. So it's, it's nice to have that included in your options. Yeah, uh, just to add a little bit too, when you walk in these homes, they come with awesome tray ceilings, right? When you walk in the foyer, um, yeah. in the dens, um, in their living rooms, um, obviously um, the bedrooms, uh, certain bedrooms have these tray ceilings. So a lot of extras that are just thrown in that we like. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now we're entering Shoreview, which is Pulte's community over here. So it's being built by Pulte. And actually, I'll just turn this camera around. Um, I just wanted to mention, I don't know if we said this about 
homes by town, but these communities are gas communities. So if you are a chef and you have to have gas, that will work out great for you. These homes are starting around 750 and going up from there. They are around 2,400 square feet up to around 3,200 square feet. And as you can see, they have two or three car garages. And their largest floor plan starts at around 944,000 and goes up from there based on your options. More beautiful homes by Pulte. They have about 30 lots remaining. And they have um, a beautiful set of amenities as well. So we're just walking over here to show you some of the amenities that you can have access to if you decide to build here in Shoreview. This is their kayak launch. It is so peaceful and quiet out here. It's so quiet out here. <laughs> it's amazing. While we're out here and we're walking around, let's just talk about Richard. We haven't even said anything yet about when you decide to live here, where you're located and how close you are to some really fantastic things. I'll start. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, everything is gonna be super close for you here. The Publix, the Target, everything like that. But you are 15 to 18 miles from some of the most beautiful beaches that Florida has to offer. Lido Key, Siesta Key, Long Longboat Key. Speaking of Longboat Key, like a straight shot away from St. Armand Circle. It was, what did you say, like 15 minutes? No, you're about 20, 25 minutes. Still, that's nothing. And on your way to St. Armand Circle, you're basically gonna pass the UTC, which has got some of the best shopping you can possibly imagine. Everything you could need. There's a Dillard's, there's a Macy's, there's a Saks Fifth Avenue, there's a Crate and Barrel, there's all kinds of uh, shopping. And then outside of the mall is even more shopping and restaurants. There's Cheesecake Factory, there's California Pizza Kitchen. We're waiting for the Rocco's Tacos to open. It's not <laughs> open yet. Every time we go, we're like, is it open yet? And it's not open yet, but it's gonna be open soon. So what well, else are we close to there Richard because you're good with driving directions. Well look a little driving directions for you guys. Um, if you if you're on I-75 and uh, you're coming either north or south you're gonna get off on uh, University Parkway and in to get over to the waterside area the easiest way to get in here is basically just go east on uh, the University Parkway and you'll get to uh, Lorraine Road and just take Lorraine Road south and that'll bring you right down to the front of this particular community. When you live here you're actually gonna be in Sarasota Minnesota County. Parts of Lakewood Ranch are in Manatee County, but this is actually in the southern part of Lakewood Ranch. So it's Sarasota County. Um, you're gonna have pretty easy access to I-75. And then you're also gonna be about 15, 20 minutes away from the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. So pretty convenient if you uh, are somebody that needs to fly in and out for work or just like to be close to the airport. And if you're looking to get to the Tampa International Airport, you're looking at just a little over an hour. Yeah, and then of course you have the Orlando or the Fort Fort Myers as well, but those are going to be a little bit further out. Yeah, hours. So <laughs> this is, uh, you know, you got your pool area and they of course have a nice fitness center as well. Um, over here you have tennis courts and uh, pickleball and over at the Homes by Town you're going to have bocce ball there. So lots of great amenities in both of these communities by both of these builders. But also Richard, tell them about what's going in across the street. Well, we've got wind that there's uh, another huge phase coming in across the street from lake house and it's going to be very similar to this community as well homes by towns is going to be the developer uh, so they'll go ahead and develop the whole project they get all the infrastructure in the infrastructure is currently going in right now yep. um, so we don't know any timelines of any you know completed homes or models or anything like that but infrastructure is going in and then of course we'll assume that they're going to go ahead and sell off lots to several other builders but it's very unique community such as this one where most most of the homes will have water in your backyard. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. We did hear that MI is supposed to be one of the builders so that they are gonna have something that's a little bit more affordable, um, like villas starting in the 500s, and then single family homes that start in the 600s and go up from there. So that's hearsay, but we'll see, um, and we'll definitely keep you guys posted. Absolutely.
Okay, so we're standing in the middle of the outdoor shopping at UTC and just over here is Target. I'm gonna try and turn so you can kind of see some of this, but you've got your Target over here. You've got Best Buy, you've got Old Navy. There's an Ulta Ladies. There's a Christmas store over here that I'm dying to walk into, but anyways. Everything That's another you time. Is here at the UTC. <laughs> Richard's gonna kill me if I buy any more Christmas trees, so I'm not allowed to go in there. Anything you need, yeah. So let's do a full spin here because even across the way over there is just more shops to choose from. And they have all kinds of events going on here. They've got uh, movies in the park for the kids. They've got an ice skating ring set up across the street. They've got pop stroke if you wanna come and play a little putt putt golf with your family, have lunch. So just a lot of fun over here. I'm not sure there's anything you can't do. There's a movie theater if you wanna come and catch a movie. What else, anything? Am I missing just something? Just really pretty much everything you need for shopping is here at the UTC. Yep, there's the dig sporting goods um, that my son absolutely loves. I think we've already been there. I don't know if you want to know what's here, just comment below. We'll let you know. Yeah, so anything you're looking for is going to be here. And how long would you say it, take, it took us to get here from Lake House Coast? Not even 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a pretty quick drive. Now, right now, there's a lot of traffic because it's the holidays, but it's a pretty easy drive to get over here. All right, guys. Well, we had a lot of fun showing you Lake House Cove at Waterside today. If you have any questions about relocating to the Lakewood Ranch area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us that text, or send us an email, whichever one you prefer, because we have you covered when you are moving here. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. It's fun, guys.